New governor push for medical expansion. Manor to walk police seek woman involved in a stabbing. Shopco files for bankruptcy. These stories and much more coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and welcome to Community News Review for Wednesday, January 16th, 2019. Roads got icy Tuesday evening as temperatures and freezing drizzle fell across Sheboygan County. Sergeant Jesse Smith with the Sheriff's Department says overall the county saw eight property damage accidents, but no one was injured. Smith said that the worst of it was in the western part of the county. Smith says on Highway 23 west of Plymouth, semis had to move to the side of the road to get traction because the highway was a sheet of ice. Highway crews were out throughout the overnight hours treating the roads. And meanwhile, in an Atagami County, icy conditions are being blamed for a crash that killed a 17-year-old girl from Shiacton. And officials say she lost control, went into a ditch, and hit a tree. Police in Manitowoc are looking for a woman that brought a man she stabbed to a hospital. Police say Jasmine Walker stabbed the man during an argument and dropped him off at the hospital and took off on foot. Police say that she stabbed the man in the torso with a large folding knife and the man suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Anyone with any information on Walker is asked to please call the Manitowoc Police. Michigan State University's interim president, John Engler, will resign following re renewed criticism of how he handled fallout surrounding the sex abuse scandal involving sports doctor Larry Nassar. The Detroit Free Press reported on Wednesday, citing unnamed officials. Nassar sexually abused hundreds of female athletes while working as the doctor for the U.S. national gymnastics team. Nassar also worked at Michigan State University, and the university's board of trustees had been expected to discuss whether to fire Engler at a meeting on Thursday. Wisconsin's new governor says that he is going to fight for Medicaid expansion despite the protests of the Republican majority in the legislature. Governor Tony Evers says that it is an issue that touches every community in the state. Every small town in Wisconsin has some facility that's health care related, whether it's a clinic, whether it's a small hospital, whether it's a doctor's office. He says he has got the backing of both the people of the state and the medical field and the people that are using the facilities and work in those facilities support our position on that. Evers says the expansion will help people across Wisconsin get the health coverage that they need. I understand that they said that is a non-starter. We're not going to burn the capital down. We're going to disagree. If that's their position, then we will disagree. Evers met with all of the legislative causes on Tuesday in order to present his goals for the session. New Governor Tony Evers says he is open to the idea of medical marijuana, saying his first budget will take a step forward establishing such a program. Evers also told Wisconsin Technology Council that he would like to see voters decide on whether recreational marijuana should be legal in Wisconsin. I personally would sign that bill. I just want to make sure we do it correctly. A similar ballot m measure was approved in neighboring Michigan last November. Top Republican lawmakers in Madison are split on the idea of medical marijuana. State Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald is opposed Assembly Speaker Robin Voss says he has an open mind on the issue. Former Governor Scott Walker was a staunch opponent of the using marijuana for medical purposes. 
And finally, Shaco has filed for bankruptcy and will close 38 stores as a part of its reconstructing efforts. The Ashwaubenon-based retailer announced Wednesday that it has obtained $480 million in financing from lenders led by the Wells Fargo to fund and protect its operations while it goes through a bankruptcy. Shaco has also asked the federal bankruptcy court in Nebraska to allow it to continue to pay wages, salaries, and benefits and pay vendors and suppliers during their bankruptcy process. This decision is difficult, but a necessary one, CEO Russ Steinhorst says in a news release. Court documents list the company's assets at between $500 million and $1 billion, with liabilities estimated between $1 billion and $10 million. A list of the 38 closing stores plus previously announced closures are posted on a separate website dedicated to the bankruptcy. Included in that list are seven stores from the Northeast Wisconsin and over a dozen stores statewide, which are all set to shut down their doors in April. Shopco also plans to move more than 20 optical centers to freestanding locations, and the company says that it is encouraged by four freestanding optical centers it opened last year and will look to grow its optical businesses. All optical centers will remain open through the transition, and the company says, finally, it is the auctioning its remaining pharmacy businesses. The bankruptcy is the latest in the string of announcements from Shopco, and last month it announced plans to close 39 stores, mostly Shopco hometown stores, and sell the pharmacy business and more than 40 locations. Last week, the company confirmed plans to close the Shopco hometown in Seymour and the full-size department store in Menasha. And that is all we have for today. Join me again next week for another recap of our local news on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation. WSCS TV.